I received the largest power station model from the brand Aferi, the P310. And actually, since it truly combines power and capacity, it can genuinely replace the electrical setup you would build yourself. I am going to present it to you in this video, but we will also look at a case study to install it in a large camper van while keeping the same level of comfort as with a custom built setup. We will illustrate this with a wiring diagram, which will be quite simple. But even a portable battery does not eliminate the need for an electrical network in order to avoid having all the sockets in the same place. That is not practical at all. More importantly, we will see how to recharge it while driving and using solar power without having to plug or unplug anything each time. So make sure to stay until the end. Of course, I negotiated with the brand the lowest price available on the web, which you will find in the description. And feel free to subscribe to the channel, give us a like, and let us know in the comments what you think about this P310 station. Here is the P310 in operation. To test it, I started by plugging it directly into a rigid solar panel located in my garden, which I use for testing. At this moment, we can see that the production is around 412 watts. This is a 500 watt panel originally. This station can actually handle much more input power as it supports up to 2000 watts of solar production. The dial you see here is used to adjust the grid charging power, which can be set between 400 watts and 2200 watts. We also have two USB-A ports with quick charge 3.0, three USB-C ports at 20 watts, and one USB-C port with a power output of 100 watts. That is more than enough for use in a camper van or outside. In the 12 volt direct current output zone, there is an XT60 port rated at 25 amperes, which as you will see, is very practical for our electrical setup. There is also a cigarette lighter socket, and finally, two 12 volt outputs at three amperes. And of course, one of the strong advantages of this Afri P310 power station is its three alternating current outlets at 230 volts or 110 volts depending on your region. And get this, the output power reaches 3600 watts. That no longer limits the types of devices you can connect to it, the outputs are pure sine wave. Given its large capacity, it is equipped with wheels on the back, since its weight is still greater than the P210. We are talking about a capacity of 3840 watt hours. To give you an equivalent in 12.8 volt batteries, that represents 300 ampere hours. At the back, I connected my solar panel to the XT90 input, which is located right next to the AC input socket, and it is plugged directly into the back of the panel. This is a cable that actually comes included with the power station. At the very bottom, there are also input ports for adding external batteries, which allow you to double or even triple the capacity of this P310 battery. That means up to 11,520 watt hours. That is truly massive in terms of autonomy. There is also the little built-in lamp, a classic feature of any good power station with several operating modes. For the mobility of this portable battery with a weight of 42 kilograms, there is a small retractable handle system just like on travel suitcases. It allows you to move it around without breaking your back. That means you can take it to be charged outside the vehicle, directly inside the house. In any case, this type of battery is absolutely not limited to recreational vehicles like RVs or camper vans. It is perfect for home use or remote sites. Underneath, you can find all the specifications of the P310 model. There is no need to go looking for the manual if you are unsure about a value. Everything is listed right there. Once you have moved it to where you want it, just fold the retractable handle and you are done. This is truly a model that combines power and versatility. A quick word about the Bluetooth app for this power station. I had already introduced it recently with the P210. It is exactly the same. So you can control the USB outputs from the app once the module is activated. The 12 volt direct current outputs can also be managed. You can control the alternating current output module and finally the LED light. Right now you can see the direct current input coming from the XT90 socket where my rigid 500 watt solar panel is connected for example. 400 watts is actually a good charging power. On a sunny day, it allows you to recharge the station quite well. But the station accepts so much more, and that is what makes it great. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this P310 can perfectly complement a fixed electrical installation. As a result, you could build a complete, powerful, and autonomous system with very little electrical knowledge. Let's start by addressing the main question, which is energy production and the charging methods. Through the XT90 port, you can recharge using solar panels. We will base this on a camper van setup with solid solar production. That is two solar panels of 400 watts each on the roof of the vehicle. Here, the input accepts up to 2000 watts of power and a maximum voltage of 160 volts. For charging while driving, however, you are limited to charging via the cigarette lighter, which provides between 90 watts and 120 watts. I saw on another channel a clever setup using a relay that automatically switches to charging via the cigarette lighter when the ignition is turned on. 
that is a great wiring idea. However, in this case, I do not think it is the most relevant solution. Please note, this is just my opinion and depends mainly on the solar power you have on the roof. Personally, I prefer a manual switch that you activate depending on your needs. Because first of all, the XT90 input does not support both sources simultaneously. Second, charging via the cigarette lighter only makes sense to me in bad weather. Imagine you're driving in full sun with 300, 400, or even 800 watts of solar panels, and the system switches automatically to alternator charging, which only provides around 100 watts. That makes no sense. So for me, a manual switch remains the simplest way to avoid having to plug and unplug the XT90 connector to change the power source, and it is also unnecessary to connect directly to the battery for such low power. However, using a booster charger with a 24 volt output, you can recharge the battery with much more power, but that does require connecting directly to the battery. The other charging method is through the AC socket, and the P310 has a built-in charger that is adjustable between 400 watts and 2200 watts. But it also has another major advantage, its UPS function, which acts as an automatic source switch. Let's say you are using your alternating current circuit inside your vehicle. If you connect an external P17 plug directly to the AC input of the P310, it will automatically switch to the external power source without any interruption, and that is exactly the kind of feature we are looking for in van life and RV setups. As for the internal network, lighting, LED spotlights, LED strips, water pump, and so on, you can add a small, simple fuse panel for these lines connected directly to the XT60 output located on the front of the P310. On the cigarette lighter output, you can connect a compression cooler, for example. For the USB outputs, depending on the positioning of the station, you can either plug in directly or use integrated sockets in your setup. In that case, you would simply buy USB extension cables. Coming back to the 230 volt network, the ideal setup here is to have an intermediate electrical panel with protections or to connect directly. You can also run specific lines that lead to your kitchen countertop, for example. With a power output of 3600 watts, you can easily power an air fryer, an induction cooktop, a coffee maker, a kettle, and more. This power station provides both high power and large capacity, so a portable battery like this can truly replace a traditional electrical installation while offering a clean and integrated system. All of that at a very competitive cost and with a 7 year warranty. That's all for this video. Don't forget to support me by subscribing to the channel, giving a like, and sharing your thoughts in the comments. See you soon.